Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. When I go to Mass, it's the one place where I cannot trust my eyes. Normally I can trust, I can say, oh, the light's red, I better stop. But when you go to Mass and the reality is that God's really present and that the sacrifice of the Mass is the same sacrifice that took place on Calvary and that this is the greatest moment that has ever happened and I'm, I'm reliving this, and I'm entering into it. When I go to the Mass, I can't see that. He's there in His humble disguise and it's up to us to show that God's present because He's absolutely as small as possible. And so when an altar server or anybody who's on the altar does not act like this is really God, this is really the King of Kings, the Creator of Heaven and Earth, and this is really the most important moment of all of human history that's being acted out here. If he's acting like he doesn't want to be there, if he's acting like he doesn't know what's going on, that's a distraction for me, and that's subtly telling me that it's not true, that this isn't the most important thing that's happening on Earth. The altar server plays a very important role, and, and so he does two things. He assists the priest, in the sacrifice of the Mass, but he's also there so that when the faithful don't know when to stand or don't know what their posture or their position is, they can look to the altar server as a guide. And anytime they might be distracted, the altar server with his very being should try to direct all of his attention and all focus back to God. If you have your hands in prayer position at all times, so that means your right thumb over your left thumb, and you're kind of like at a 45 degree angle. This is the position that somebody has when somebody prays. When you see the Blessed Mother in prayer and images, her heart is directing all of her attention and all of her thoughts upward towards God. And so during the Mass, God is present. We point our fingers in the direction that all of us should be directing our minds and our hearts towards. Because you're on the altar and you're so intimately involved with the sacrifice that's, that's taking place, it's important that from head to toe, you're dressed reverently and you're dressed respectfully. You should come with black dress pants and black dress shoes, helping to show with every fiber of your being, every fiber of your person, that what's taking place is something that is grave and serious and deserves utmost dignity. One thing that I've noticed is that the young men and the young boys are excited to dress like a priest. They run eagerly towards the cassocks and they kind of cringe when somebody tells them they have to wear the alb. The cassock is more masculine. And if you're trying to encourage vocations to the priesthood, it's better that the young men wear something that the priest wears. Especially if you have a good and holy and loving priest who really cares about the community, it's good that the boy already starts to, to copy him and wear the same clothes as him. Our body impacts our dispositions, and so all of these outward externals that I mentioned first, they impact our hearts. The goal from having your hands in prayer position, the goal from having your eyes where they should be, the goal from wearing nice dressy clothes that are clean and well kept, the goal is so that your heart can be in the right place. Oh God, who in the heart of your son, wounded by our sin. I would say that if somebody wants to be a good altar server, and they want to be faithful to the duties that they have been chosen for or have volunteered for, the most important thing that you could ever do is to invest in the Mass by praying the Rosary every day. That investment, that spiritual investment and that personal relationship you get from praying the Rosary every day, that's what's going to make you a better altar server. Holding the hand of Mary is how you're going to be a better altar server. That's how you're going to glorify God more.